Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls Magic Spells Only. I don't know what like the succinct short version of this playthrough is gonna be called. Demon Souls Magic Only seems kinda long-winded, but whatever, we're making our way up to the monumental. So we're gonna be sort of half editing the early parts here because there's gonna be a lot of dialogue and we've seen all of this before, so why don't we, you know, get through this quickly and get to the action. Because the monumental, I'm gonna be honest with you, is kinda boring. And that's all we really want, is to have the arch stones unlocked. And of course buy soul arrow, or did I buy that shit already? I think I did, didn't I? Cool. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. Well done. Hell yeah, we are confident. Cool. No, I have not bought. Well, I'm an idiot. So, monumental stuff done. I think there is more treasure on the level below, which I'm not sure how to get to. Whatever, it's not... Well, it might be something important. You know what, let's have a look around. So genu genuinely don't remember how to get there. Oh yeah, I remember, there's like a little secret staircase here. Uh, and there's just more monumentals. All of them dead. Poor monumentals. And we get a... It's a stone of the ephemeral eye. I'm gonna withdraw what I just said. This is actually pretty useful. Cool. Man, the ambient lighting in the Nexus is so much better. They really stepped up their interior decoration in this place since 2009. So this dude is a bit of an asshole, but he sells something very important, and that is Soul Arrow. This shit is so useful. Get Water Veil out of here. Soul Arrow is where it's at. First of all, that looks dope. Second of all, <laughs> that looks really dope actually. I've only ever seen it in YouTube videos, because I didn't use magic on my previous playthrough, so... Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. The only other thing we gotta do here is level up, which we'll see how many levels we can get. Uh, I do have... What you call it, consumables, so... I can use those if needed. Hell yeah, we do. Actually, this character is decent looking. I I, I didn't screw up too much. So, two levels. Uh, I think intelligence is gonna be... So, here is the deal. Uh, Demon Souls has two stats that govern your magic. One is your actual magic stat. So, obviously, this is for magic spells, this is for miracles. And the separate stat, Intelligence, determines how many attunement slots you have and, more importantly, how much MP you have. So really, bumping this is just gonna make our spells more powerful. You can see the magic power meter increasing, while this allows us to cast more spells. So I think I'm gonna go for a balanced approach here and do that. And I think what I'm gonna do, because people always bitch at me for not using my consumables, let's use these. As far as I know, the lead demon soul is not needed for any spell. So let's use it. Alright, cool. So we have quite a few levels. You know what? Let's bump up endurance. I mean, the thing is, Endurance we're not really gonna need because, just like in Dark Souls 1, magic doesn't cost any MP. But Vitality could be useful. We're close to a third attunement slot, which honestly we do not need at this point. So let's just make our spells more powerful. The question is, where do we go from here? And honestly, I think considering like our stuff, like our current equipment loadout, we can only go to Tower of Latria because 
the enemies here drop spice quite frequently so I think this is going to be our first destination the issue of course is that these enemies are also quite magic resistance if I resistant if I remember correctly so this will probably be an interesting area to get through they're not that magic resistant they're resistant to okay so flame toss is gonna be our main oh, fuck flame toss is gonna be our main thing here see they drop fresh spice very very often and they drop more souls as well than anything in boletaria so that's gonna also help us sort of build up a stock of course the other complication in this game is that they've now limited how many items you can carry. Before of course in Demon Souls you used to be able to carry 99 of everything and they limited quite a few things so I'm thinking they probably, lim probably limited Fresh Spice and Age Spice as well so... Oh shit, that's the worst thing. But this is why Soul Arrow is very useful. Uh, the MP cost on it is way lower. And also it doesn't... Well, it, it's a quicker cast. But because of the low MP I have... Or I mean, not low MP, but the MP issue I have... The cells themselves are pretty much out of... Fuck. Are pretty much out of the question, honestly. Because... Going there would waste so much of my magic that it's ridiculous. I see already I'm gonna have to like top up here. I'm not doing too hot on healing items either. There's more than just a soul here. I need to start picking them keys up. Yeah. Of course, these keys are a little bit more difficult to get because of the fact that they're not like highlighted anymore. They ain't shiny anymore. So there's that. Well, I mean, they do shine kind of sometimes. Anyways, I think I've got every key. Okay. And I should be able to unlock this door at the beginning. By the way, thank you very much for the positive feedback on the first episode of this playthrough. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying it as well, you know. Uh, a challenge run is always fun. And, you know, I've explained my sort of stance on challenge runs before. I'm just thinking I could go back to the Nexus and top up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, listen, lighting, lightning quick load times. So, why not? Believe me, I wouldn't do this shit on PlayStation 3. Like, that would... I would probably waste away of old age in front of the console if I did that every single time I needed to top up my MP. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, you know, my philosophy on... And I don't believe that's too, like, grandiose of a term to say philosophy on challenge runs is I always try to keep it balanced between have Oh, come on, okay. Having an... Uh, seriously? Just get out of the way. Bruh. Thank you. Between having something that does offer a challenge and a new experience but is also still fun for me. I'm definitely not going in there. Because, you know, some of people in the Souls community do, like, absolutely insane shit. Like, truly insane. You know, level one, hitless, uh, blindfolded, fingers cut off, I don't know, you know, whatever. Like tele telepathically guiding my wife to play 
Dark Souls instead of me challenge run. They do some crazy shit in the Souls community. And I appreciate, I like, I respect that. But I'm not that hardcore. And when I play a game, I always want it to be fun. And these types of challenge runs are the perfect sort of balance there. And that it's still fun for me. That's how I always do. You know, I, I wouldn't do ever do something like Demon Souls consumables only, which is possible. People have done it, but I'd rather not fight. I don't know what's his name, the first monster, cleric beast, for like fifty minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that, as the classic video says. And these bitches have way worse range than me. And I'm going to fully use that to my advantage. So this is the main reason I decided to come to this place, because this is Spice City. Dune ain't got nothing on this. Okay, whatever. I'm curious about this that new Dune movie I'm gonna be coming out. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It looks good. It looks faithful to the source material, so I'm excited. Because Dune's been kind of... Well, the old movie was okay. But this one looks a little bit more faithful. Man, she's zombified as hell. So let's see what you got. So she does, as you can see, she sells fresh spice way cheaper. I think overall patches is still the cheapest. But we won't be able to get patches for quite a while. Obtain more souls once later. It's 50,000. But damn. There's also a magic spell that does that. You get more souls. I think I'm going to stock up. Five, I think, is a decent number. 17 fresh spice should be able to hold us out for quite a while. In fact, I'm going to de-equip my bright water before I accidentally waste the last one I have. Oh, no, no, this is it. Cool. I'm just stupid. Don't worry. And then, of course, this time around, I'll try not to forget Sage Freak. Because that boy is mad useful. Eight Spice. Nice, nice, nice. And I think... Is that not how you... Shit, okay. Let's see if this works. It ain't gonna work, is it? I mean... It should, but it's kind of difficult to free aim. Mr. Freak. What a boy. So, of course, Frege has quite a lot of bong smoke emanating from him. He is a magician. I mean, we only have a little bit around our waist, but still. We're just in training. We're gonna rescue him. First of all, he's way nicer than his apprentice. Second of all, he got the good weed. Uh, which will allow us to learn the really heavy spells. And then next, Yuria. But Yuria is a little bit more difficult to reach. Speaking of... Fuck. Alright, you got me, game. Is that gonna kill? No, it's not. Just gotta watch the... The Okazumi. Oh, 
nearly got Okazumi there. It would have been quite bad. Oh yeah, bitch. How about this? Eat shit. But you can go down, can't you? I think that's just a side area. Which probably does contain a key. Yeah, we're gonna go there. I'm, I'm not risking missing anything. Man, I'm fucking low on healing items too. Oh, this is where the dude is. Yeah. Lord Ridiel or whatever his name is. I never know how to unlock him. Maybe I'll look it up this time. Let's do like one quest per new playthrough. Why not? The only thing I know is that it's fucking complicated to unlock him. It's like the one thing I remember. So yeah, that's just a Ridiel or Ridel corridor. All right, back here. Uh, I will have a look at. See, I'm interested because this enemy, this fucking blob with the many swords, absolutely wrecked me when I came through here previously. So I'm curious on uh, how it will go with magic spells. I assume it will be a little bit easier. And isn't the silver coronet here? There are some items that boost magic in this game. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. And this thing respawns too. Okay, well... I didn't know he was this resistant. God, this... It's fireball, like... F or flame toss, whatever. This thing has a f messed up hitbox. I'm gonna kill it. Once. Because I want to see what the treasure is behind him. But I feel like... It's not going to be worth it in the end. This is how you maximize your MP. Damn, not even two of them shits fills me up. Quite a fascinating battle, isn't it? Uh, very engaging. I blow your load so I can kill you here. Well, that was fun. Oh, and it's three age spices. Totally worth it. That's like a minute of my life I'm never, never getting back. Not even sure it's worth going for crystal lizards on this playthrough. I'm pretty sure it's not. Like, why would you? We're not going to be upgrading anything. We might as well trigger this as well, while we're here. That does look pretty dope. However, in terms of like... There is a key here. But is it worth going around? Shit. Definitely not worth it from that perspective. No, I think we're just gonna go back. Because... Well, what's over there? There's treasure everywhere in this place. It's just like mercury stone and the rapier, I think, that you can get. So, not worth it for this character. I'm going to be kind of conservative in what items I'm getting because I'm just going to put them, like, leave them with Stockpile Thomas. And there's only like three catalysts in this game and one of them is useless. So, you know, there's that. Okay, so this is still locked. 
which means I didn't go to, oh yeah, I remember. There's not a single playthrough where I don't slightly get lost here. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Because what we need to do here is get back over here. And then we should be able to now unlock the two doors right here. Which will allow us to get the key which is needed for the other door. Dope. And it's how you do it. And this area is well designed, I'm not gonna lie. Classic <clears throat> Demon Souls. <laughs> you have a bitch ass range on your spell. Chad Magician versus Virgin Cthulhu Monster. Oh yeah, that's it. You have this door. I'm like embarrassing them, honestly. And you know what? Let's try an H Spice. A spice is gonna be our main thing anyways, like towards the end of the game they become very easy to get, so you know, like why not use them? There's some enemies that pretty much constantly drop them. So anyways, let's move on. Uh in terms of other difficulties, I don't expect anything else to really get on like get in my way. This boss fight should be interesting. Right now, I'm thinking it could go either way. Either it's gonna be an absolute pushover or it could be a little bit annoying. It's gonna be a real magic versus magic type deal. That's for sure. Of course, we have the Phantom as well before that, but that's pretty easy. Clever rat ring. That's always because uh, that's the red tear stone of this game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure it's way weaker than actual red tear stone. The thing that's dope about red tear stone in Dark Souls One, at least, is that it affects every single type of damage. Making it like way, way too bro broken. Broken? I can't even talk. But in many of the other games, it only affects physical damage, making it a little bit shittier. Still good, but a little bit shittier. CAD motion sickness. I gotta mention this every single time, you know, motion sickness warning. Which I don't get, but if you do, well, I don't know, just skip ahead. Don't skip the video, though. You know, think about the dog that I showed in the previous episode, Peretz. Think about it. If you don't watch this video, I don't get YouTube money and I can't afford this food. That's, of course, not how it goes before anybody jumps down my throat. But it do be like that sometimes. It's not like that, ever. But still, you should subscribe and like the video. I think we're gonna have like some little scene. Oh, shit. Mmm, spicy. Uh, fuck. See that? But that has lower magic assist. Because this, for some reason... Why does that... Increases the wielder's maximum MP, but it has lower... See, that's the thing. It has lower uh, magic adjust. See, I'm thinking I'm going to be pumping MP anyways, so... It's not going to be too much help having more max MP. 
So I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. Just like in any Souls game, the basic catalyst is very powerful. And of course, let's visit the other side as well, because we pretty much need to. That this side is way more important, believe me. And you all know. The big question is whether I should go for that treasure. I feel like... I legit feel like if I go for that treasure, I'm 100% gonna die. Like, I know myself. I know, I know how... The Demon Souls or any Souls game playthroughs go on this channel. If I do some stupid shit like that, million percent I'm gonna kill my ass and I have to like start all over again. And this is a nice fella right here. Would be a shame if he got blasted by magic, right? Wouldn't that be a shame? Sorry, you got fried. But man, is that shit very tempting. It's so tempting. What is it? Fucking two Widow's Lotuses? <sighs> Not worth it. Well, okay. I'm pretty sure I have picked up this thing before and realized... Oh, come on. Am I gonna get killed? And realize the same thing, that it's not worth it. But... Next time I'm definitely gonna remember that. Get blasted. It's gonna be like a ranged battle for the ages. Mijik versus... Pretty powerful crossbow. Oh, don't heal. Just keep blasting. Man, soul arrow is good. I was just about to say. Fuck, I was just about to say I'm definitely dead. And I definitely was. So every second spell she can shoot off a load. Okay, I feel like it's definitely smart to use a Stone of the Ephemeral Eye. I mean, I only have two of these. I ain't exactly running wild with stones, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I mean, you can completely ignore this red phantom, but... Why would you do that? Maybe, maybe she ain't too hot. Yeah, her aim, she isn't the end from Metal Gear, that's for sure. Uh, so, but man, is she quick on the draw. Yeah, so we gotta like, just bay out her shit. Damn, smart move. Smart move. Oh, just barely missed me. Just go for the punishes. Yeah, it's that reload that kills you, doesn't it? That's what always does it. I'm gonna have to use two. I re really gotta get some healing items here. Hey, nice! Them stones. Eight spice probably would have been better here, but whatever. I'm so curious about this boss fight. Like, legit. Eh, whatever, just use it. Actually, since I have... Uh, we might as well switch it out. I mean, if... We get into the state, might as well see if it does something or not. Can I remember how shitty this boss fight used to look? They definitely waifu'd her up, for sure. 
for all the perverts. Of course, you gotta get that foot shot in there as well, you know. Well, she's like a little bit veiny. Okay. Let's lock on to her. See what you got. Cool. So she... No. Motherfucker. I mean, she teleporting. Interesting that she... Oh, okay, she's actually more weak to standard soul arrows. Okay, uh oh, okay, that's a bad angle. No, don't use the spice, idiot. And that's her. She's a real one. Are you kidding me? Why is she so... Don't tell me she gets spell resistance. Where is the real one at? That's her, right? No, it's not. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't tell me she gets spell resistance. No, she doesn't. That was really strange. Oh, okay. She was taking damage from the flame toss. It's just... It added up and I thought she was taking 260. Okay. It's my stupidity. I'll fess up that that was my stupidity. Is that the real one? I think it is. The other way to tell is... The other ones have an HP bar above their heads which is very convenient no don't okay this is a little bit risky because that can happen hmm is that her that is her is that gonna reach it's gonna reach Cool. I'll keep my distance. And I think, yep, one more teleport should do it. That's not her. Please tell me that's not her either. That would have been extremely convenient. Okay, she's right there. Fuck, that's a bad position. Gotta use them pillars. And flame toss her. Well, actually... I feel like this boss fight was right in the middle. It wasn't as easy as I expect. Or, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't difficult either. Uh, I was talking about how this could go both ways. Uh, actually, that was pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Really, you'll find that as we move on this playthrough or we go through the game, things are gonna get like way, way. Like, the difficulty is gonna be like a nosedive after a while because magic is so unbelievably powerful in this game. It's truly ridiculous. Still, though, you just witnessed the kidnapping there. Get that milk carton out here. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here and making my way back to the Nexus where we have 13k souls, which should be enough for some good shit. And what I gotta remember is to go back for Sage Frey because 
all the spicy spells are gonna be coming from him. In fact, I think the Fool's Idol Soul can be used to make something spicy. Soul Ray, maybe, I think, which is a pretty dope spell. Anyways, we'll do all of that next time around. This area, as always, looks badass. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls Spells Only. If you did, as always, give it a like, comment, subscribe. I don't have my puppy with me, so I can't, like, you know, clickbait him or whatever. But anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Goodbye.